downtown Greensboro can be called a tale of two downtown. As a railroad track splits the north end from the south end of Elm Street. There's no real reason why South Elm hasn't revitalized as quickly as North Elm except for the Great Recession and maybe a reputation for being the other side of the tracks. There were so many empty storefronts. Um, you know, there was a lot of uh, what I'd call uh, homeless enclavements and everything, which were, uh, we know they're gonna happen, but they were happening right in the downtown area. And I think basically it just shunned everybody away. As businesses left, stagnation set in, and with stagnation comes the slow decay of vintage downtown buildings, many with rich history. It took more money to, to fix up this side of town. The side of town that seems that got the attention was the other side of the tracks. But now money is flowing into South End real estate. You'll still need an imagination to see all the possibilities. Artist Victoria Milstein thinks her studio can make it downtown. I'm so excited to be on this block because so much is happening in the way of art. I feel like this is the Soho of Greensboro. Jason Cannon guides the Downtown Greensboro Alliance, and if there's a Downtown Greensboro official promoter of opportunity, he's it. We're seeing this rejuvenation of opportunity, and it's stretching all age sectors, but especially in, in the younger uh, ages, we see folks that want to use um, de the downtown environment to become their place to live, work, and play. Sometimes it just takes somebody on that you know, bleeding edge or leading edge you know, to take that risk, which I think you know, shows that proof point to other people and takes some of the risk out of the equation. Did you like ever expense it all for it or is it? Kelly Swanson brought her existing business to the south end. Crossing the tracks there's a lot of new thinkers so I like that there's room for us to be here and we can make a name for ourselves. There's more arts, there's more crafts, we've got the maker space, we've got a brew pub, so on this side, it's, there's a lot more diversity. I mean, I could, uh, we actually have the potential to bring a lot of people who wouldn't normally come to this area here. The south end of downtown Greensboro is a historical work that's also a work in progress. There's a lot of old brick needing new money and people willing to cross the railroad tracks to live, play, and work. <laughs>